people, 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 people. Care pass a suck per se what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news that we see that a little thief, a little two foot post, a little chain grabber. He was prowling the place where I was speaking about along Kansan Spring Road and him saw some little brown people that he thought that was a easy prey, that he thought that was a little uptown girl living a downtown life. However, he did not realize that this uptown girl, this browning, was worse than a skettle whenever she get robbed. And people in basically picked the wrong person. So people, like I said, this incident occurred on Kansan Spring Road at the Burger King. And if you know anything about that vicinity, she started to run him down and start to scream and create all sort of alarm. And it seemed like some popo was right in the vicinity. And people like me said the Browning kick off her slippers or kick off her shoes. And she run down the teeth we are talking about past Burger King, past court past Twin Gates and also past where I talk about the immigration office and run right into where I talk about Kansan Spring Arcade where the Pope or them catch him. So people, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> Sure you have everything else? Yes, mom. I need no single password in my bag. That was the most important thing. Oh. And dirty boy, you know, say I cut my neck too, right? You know, say your dirty thing when they scrape my neck. Uh, that the pendant is on it, the purple pendant. It must have fallen off. But this is my chain. This is the chain my mother gave me for my 16th birthday. You understand? And me are 40 now, so it was no separate charge. This have a plan to give it to my little baby. I plan to give it to my baby. Where you come from? I want to own. Yeah, there's a fire at you. We just come out to Burger King. We just come out to Burger King just because we don't eat from morning. From morning we don't eat. We can't even get something to eat without fearing. Oh, I'm on there. Come on, come on. I can't hear you. No, man, we don't hear you anymore, boss. Stop up, man, because we're going to do my thing. You're, you're a bit brawling now. What do you say? I'm sorry for taking the culture. I'm going to leave like that. You hear me? I heard you. So I'm sorry. Listen, I, I accept your apology. Don't do that again. There must be a better way. There must be a better way. You could have done an idea, you know. I'm thankful for my life, but I, I'm saying there must be a better way. It can't be robbing people. I honestly never remember some of my gold chain, but even then it's my own and my mother gave me for years now since we are 16. You can't do that to people. You can't do that. I don't could not make you spend the night in a jail, but we now do that, you know. You better go home and go find somewhere else for feed it. You have children? Okay. So only yourself you are fend for. If you don't have children, we could understand they are rough to kill the children them. To feed them, but for yourself, and you do this to people. I don't want to see your face again. You hear me? Oh, yeah, man. Lift up head. Lift up head. Lift up. I don't want to see your face again. Lift up head, big man. Yeah, man. And if you rob somebody else, make a press charge too. So two charges are gonna have for you one time. Young man, God loves you. You understand me? Don't do that again. Don't do that again. You break my heart. You break my heart. Why you choose me though? Why you choose me? Me look weak because my brown. You think I'm myself? It could have been an old lady. You don't do that to people. Don't do that again. Now people like them say. 
a hungry man is a angry man and people in this case we see say a hungry browning is a angry browning and people rightfully so justifiably so because somebody tried to violate her somebody tried to rob her and people she basically stand up for her right and people she did not get passive she did what she expected or supposed to do whenever you are living in the jungle because if we allow these thieves to basically just do what they want at free will then they are only going to continue so we see so this lady make an alarm and she basically start to show and based on her conversation it seems like she is somebody that is living overseas because of the fact that she mentioned that her passport is safe so people i can only come to a logical conclusion i think that she is from overseas so therefore even though this man violated her she is telling the pope to basically give him a chance and people that is a mistake and i understand that persons basically have sympathy and sometimes them show some sort of sympathy party and people when you look upon this little youth he is young him basically healthy him strong he could have actually enroll himself in a some sort of school however don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued sometimes these youth them come from some worthless parents we are talking about mama and papa and basically them have to fend for themselves however most of jamaica come from poor family so therefore i am not making any excuse for anybody because if that was the case me would have out there thief and i rob people and i take with people too however you have to basically whenever you are in a desolate situation you have to basically fight like a harder that is the point that i am trying to make now people i don't know what is going to happen as it pertains to this youth because i hardly think that these popo are going to just let him go scot-free i am sure that he is going to be booked and actually spend a couple of days we are talking about in the big yard as he deserves because people he is violating and i can only come to the logical conclusion that is not his first or second time and the truth and the fact that Jamaica is like a jungle and the predator are always preying upon the weak. We are talking about people look soft. However, this person that looks soft, we are talking about the browning. It seems like she was tough as nails point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source one word don't put any space between the words and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel we are speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell and icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a jamaican born pilot that is living in florida we are speaking about miramar or possibly pembroke pines to be specific he has passed away after his airplane c-r-a-s-h-e-d we are speaking about along pembroke road we are speaking about in miramar and based on the information it is said that his name is mark scott and like i said he is a jamaican he is a pilot or he is a pilot in training so people here is the video take a listen take a look and then let me know what you think in the comment section and also be mindful that this is youtube so therefore i cannot show anything that is basically violating their policy point blank and period the four-year deal worth more than 30 million dollars is signing bonus almost 20 million with a fifth-year option two of was the team's top draft pick last month so the deal is done jimmy <laughs> you know it's funny when coaches could pronounce uh, people's names they just call by their number there you go did that work is that a lot of pain state you uh, paternal hey 22 no things like that capoletti welcome back <laughs> we'll take your traffic news and weather right at the top of the hour three minutes away this show you 610 wiod when news breaks, we're ready around the clock. iHeartRadio, South Florida Business, you should know. Oh. And Augie Bucci, COO, Quarticus. Well, I think we were probably about 90%. Come on. Business and 10% on curbside and not delivery at all. So, come on. We'll try to, you know, manipulate our regular organization. Come on.
I know, I know. <laughs>